Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs, um, but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Friday the, the 13th, May, Friday the 13th. It is a day of Venus, but it is also Friday the 13th. Now, Friday the 13th for me is, is a powerful day because there's so much um, belief that's around a day like today, but also um, it was a really powerful day for people of magic, um, for witches um, and interesting cards. And um, yeah, it was, about, it was about reclaiming power. And that's what I'm feeling today. The moon is in Libra today, but um, I definitely feel that there is this sense of of reclaiming power, particularly with this powerful um, lunar eclipse and this moon in um, this new, this full moon in Scorpio, which is known as a blood moon, a blood moon lunar eclipse. Things that were not revealed before are now coming to the surface. Um, and I've definitely seen that in my own personal life. Um, literally within the last day or two um but anyway um today is is the day of love it's the day of venus so having some compassion in your defense or in anybody who's trying to wish you any harm um maybe just understanding that you don't have that compassion yet um that's that's a big part of it, you know, a really big part of it. So forgive only as much as you can. Um, but yeah, you you do what you need to do in the respect of uh, having to fight your battles, having to defend yourself, having to come across with love. Um, sometimes we have to um, fight to defend ourselves. So. Anyway, with that being said, let's get on with today's reading. I'm reading with the Tower of Fire, Tower of Del Fuego today, and I will also be clarifying with the Animal Spirit Oracle deck. So, dear spirit, what messages do you have for us today? Thank you to all of my returning subscribers and all of you that are new. Welcome. It's so good to see you here and so wonderful to have your energy. I'm wishing you a beautiful day today. Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, the Devil, and the Six of Cups. The Two of Wands, the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords reversed. Nice memories from the past. Bottom of the deck energy is the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, right. So... With this situation that's going on at the moment, um, there seems to be this inability to be able to, to move forward, to be able to take some kind of action, to be able to, to basically progress. This is a sense of you putting yourself in that position, but only to a certain extent of how you've been thinking about it. Um, this is really making you pretty angry. Um, <laughs> it's making you fired up, let's just say. It's really firing you up. Um, it's also what I was saying about this full moon in this, this blood moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Um, it's just very interesting that the devil is now come up because then that means that it's kind of like slaves. I've, do you know what I've just noticed? I've just noticed in this card, and I've had this deck for years, I've just noticed these bats like sucking on the devil. 
himself. Um, so there's a parasitic nature that's going on. And it may be because, so what I'm saying is that I feel that there is a situation or there is a person that is quite parasitic in nature in this environment at the moment. It's almost like they've taken, they've taken like advantage of a sense of good nature that's occurred within the situation. I don't think it's specific to just you. I think it's about the whole situation. Um, so, um, for example, if you've got a toxic member um, of the party at work um, and... You know, there could be a possibility that they used to be quite nice. They used to be in a good place, but now they've just become a slave like to their own selves and their own desires. And they're not, they're not moving beyond that at all. Um, they are not, yeah, they're not able to move. They're just so stuck and they're almost blinded and completely tongue tied by their desire for money. And they're just very greedy very very greedy it's very coveted kind of behavior um and it's happening with quite a big force like it's really and i i don't think that this person used to be like this all the time i don't think that they were they were always like this because we have this six of cups here um but they're very stuck within their own paradigm and it's a situation that can be changed, um, but there's a refusal to do it because of the amount of pain that will have to be gone through in order to accept the fact that the situation and things have changed. The two of wands here tells me that there's a comfortable situation that's almost like holding it together so so essentially for example you may seem that you know you may be in a situation where you have um a good job you know you've been in this job for a while or whatever and um you have yeah you've been in this job but then there's somebody at work that who you know you feel that may you had a good relationship with and now all of a sudden it's not not been so good and now it's really hurting it's it's hurting you but it's I, I kind of feel that it's the pain is there but you're still it's still not enough to make you walk it's still not enough to make you let go of it um and there has to be this process you're still kind of tied down um this devil energy is very, I don't know, I just see parasitic in nature. So there could be, if you believe in this sort of stuff, but there could be stuff that's within this person that's very parasitic. Um, it could be like a mindset, a personality type. You know, people say like energy vampires. That is exactly that here I'm seeing. Somebody and, you know, and to be fair, I feel like this person actually knows what they're doing. They know that this is a part of themselves, but they don't care. They don't care. It's almost like it's come out of nowhere because, and what's really interesting is that we've got a six of cups and it's gone from egg to hatching and then to chick, um, which tells me that this person, you know, didn't used to be like that, but this is something, this is a personality trait that's grown. Um... It hasn't been something that's been apparent the whole time. It's actually grown from a seed. And then it's actually grown into this thing, um, which is quite, quite destructive. Um, I see like, you know, I do inherently see two characters which are, are trying to do the best they can, but one of them is just doesn't really care about anyone else in the respect that they just kind of go for what they're going for. And the other one is trying to be like quite emotionally like giving and trying to, have some some kind of compassion for it um but it's very difficult it's very difficult particularly with this four of pentacles and this six of, these three are really hitting me quite hard and with this queen of pentacles it's almost like the 
shared goal of not having the stability that one needs is the thing that's what's keeping you together. I'm seeing like work, but this also could be with family because you may be living somewhere. And um, it could also be a situation, it feels like a situation that is giving you some kind of um, uh, like material stability. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what the animal spirit oracles have to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for us today? Okay, we've got two today. So, we've got the lamb and we've got the swan and they were both upright. Okay. So, what I'm getting from this is that There's an urge, urge to see the bigger picture, to know that this is not like, this is not the end. This is not what is only available to you. Um, and remember, even though you have the idea of this like sacrificial lamb or this like, not this idea, sorry, if the other person views you as this, it doesn't matter because they can think whatever they want to think. But really the truth of the matter is, is that you've got like a much higher awareness. And the reason why I say that is because we've got this innocence of the lamb, which you can portray and you can push that forward. But then you've also got like this, these beautiful colors, which tell me, and it's also in this kind of like a diamond of awareness that tells me that, yeah, you can, you can try what you're trying. And you can even kill me if you want. You can even go ahead and like try and slaughter me if you want, but it's not gonna matter because I'm still gonna rise above that. And the swan, you've got, you've got guardians, you've got angels, you've got spirits, you've got, you've got a spiritual team that's protecting you. And I feel that it's important that you realize that you do have that. Um, and you're not alone. You're really not alone. Um, you have protection and guidance here. I feel very sorry for whoever it is that is afflicted by this, by this, um, you know, by this devil, because it seems to me like, you know, this, this four of pentacles, I'd rather be afflicted by the four of pentacles than the devil, put it that way. Yeah, but you're you're cared for. You're um, you've got protection. Um, and whatever it is, just remember that as long as you stay true to your values and you're kind, you have to be kind. You're not going to get through the situation by being belligerent. Definitely not. Um, you have to be. It's almost like it's like being on a tightrope almost because. You have to be careful, and um, because it would push it would push things into an even worse state, and you have to be quite mindful of that. Um, so approaching it with this gentleness of the lamb, but you still wouldn't test a swan because a swan can still like hurt you <laughs> if you try and like test it. So don't um, you know? I just see a lot of like I, I see gentleness, but I also see fight. So don't. Don't mess with it, basically. Um, and know that you, people, if you exude that, you know, you're just kind, but don't mess with me kind of vibe, then it's going to it's gonna work out in your favor. But also remember, like, you're, there's a sense of being stuck um, and you're not moving on. So maybe think about what you can do to get yourself out of this situation because you've been quite wrapped up in the kind of semantics of the situation. So how can you move on from that? I hope you found that useful, my friends. Um, happy Friday the 13th. Um, if you did like this video, please like it. And please do share and subscribe um, if you haven't done already. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow, my friends. Bye.